Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be going over how much you need to start selling on Amazon in 2019. Alright guys, we're back. Thank you for sticking through the intro. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Just hit 8,200 subscribers. We are growing so fast. Appreciate every one of you guys. Um, if you don't know what the channel is about, we are just sharing everything that the big channels share but for free. I have a course. It is free. You could donate if you want. You don't have to full length what would have been a $500 course for free. So that's just a little bit about myself, but now let's get into it. So I love the idea of starting Amazon with less and kind of minimizing our risk. I think a lot of people would understand why in a business standpoint, right? You want to maximize profit, minimize risk. Um, it goes through most businesses, right? So let's get into how much you actually need to start. And I've broken it down into a couple different categories. Um, obviously, you know what, let me just do it this way. We'll pop some stuff up on the screen. Um, so we have cost of product. I'm gonna like edit it in, be all fancy, right? We have cost of Jungle Scout. We have Seller Central account. I'm just looking at my notes over here. Logo and barcode and photos. Okay, so those should be all around me right now. And we're gonna go over the cost of all of those right now. All right, I just had to scoot over so we could fit this rectangle onto the screen. And so obviously first let's go over cost of product, okay? Um, you could start with, I think you don't have to necessarily, as a beginner, you don't have to start with, you know, 500 or a thousand units. I do think, you know, obviously people have had success doing that, but it on the topic of minimizing risk, okay? So I'm all about micro testing. If you don't know, if you haven't, you don't know who I am. I love ordering, you know, 100 or 200 units and trying it because you could learn a lot from other sellers, but you really don't know how your sales are gonna turn out until your listing is live, right? Um, so that's why, you know, I'm just really into scaling and being efficient and getting as many of my ideas to actualize themselves into live products on my Amazon storefront as quickly as possible and seeing what the sales are like and not having to take the hit and spending $5,000. So I think you guys will like this if you're into, you know, the $1,000, $2,000 budget range. Now, can you start with 500? Yes. Is it going to be extremely difficult? Yes. You're not leaving yourself with a lot of wiggle room. I would say, you know, go work an extra job, do whatever you have to do, flip products on eBay, um, make an extra $500 and then start. It is definitely worth having that $1,000 range, but let's break down the cost over here. So we have, you know, $1,300 is our total cost. Let's say now we have a $4 product. We could order 300 units, which is a reasonable amount to start. It's not so little that you'll run out of stock too soon, um, but it's not so much that you'll actually end up, you know, if it doesn't sell, things don't go your way. Maybe more sellers enter, things can happen, right? You're not stuck with inventory. Um, you should be able to sell out of those even if you're selling, you know, um, 10 a day, which is actually really good, but maybe you have a really low margin, you're expecting to sell 40 a day or something, and it's not what you thought it was, you'll go a stock relatively soon, one month, right? Even if you sold five a day, it'd be two months, okay? Um, so let's say $4 is your cost of your product. Now you could order 300 at $4, right? So you could order 200 uh, units of a product that costs 650. And now let's break that down. So say the product costs $4, and we ordered 200 of those, that's gonna be $800. And then we have a dollar 50 or, you know, $2 and 50 cents in shipping. So now we're at that 650. Um, and then you have to multiply that by 200, obviously as well. I think if you have, even we'll just call it a thousand dollars, you can order your products. Now, how are you gonna find that product? We're gonna need a tool, right? So we're gonna break that down into software. I think most software you can do for free, and I actually just made a video, I'll link down in the description. Uh, you can click there, it's called, Do I Need Jungle Scout? And we determined that you don't need it, uh, but it is a time saver. So essentially I taught you how to do everything Jungle Scout does manually. So if you are on a budget, so Jungle Scout is $169. Um, now that is for the web app and the Chrome extension that is a bundled price. Uh, the extension alone is 179, so it's actually more expensive to just get the extension um, and then the web app on its own. So, you know, junk, it's just called Jungle Scout now, which is, you know, the feature where you could use email promotions, you could find products, you could use um, 
supplier database. There's a bunch of different things in there. Email campaigns. I think I already said that. Um, that's $39 a month. That has always been like that. And you could still get that at that price if you already have the Chrome extension. So there you go. If you already have that, you could cross that off your list. Um, so we'll add that up right here. We'll do that in the middle. What we at so far. Um, and now let's go back and talk about what else is there. So there's the seller account. That's $39.99. So not that big, but that's going to be every month. So say you start that and then you don't sell for three months. Well, there's $120 that you wasted. Um, so plan accordingly. But what you can actually do in the past is you could message seller support and say, hey, listen, I didn't even start selling or using fulfillment warehouses until this date. So say, you know, they'll usually refund a month or two if those were just wasted and you didn't use that resource. So that's something to keep in mind, but it is a cost we'll have to factor in. Okay, now we go on to obviously a logo because we're gonna be branding these products and we wanna ultimately build a brand here, right? We don't just wanna sell generic products that everyone else is selling. We wanna sell products that are, you know, going to be one, two, three, five, 10 year product lines, right? They're consistently bringing us income. This isn't a get rich quick scheme. I'm all about building an actual business on Amazon, okay? I don't care about like the fluff, the 100K a month, um, like in one month, your first month BS. That's very, very unrealistic, okay? I, I'm approaching this from the standpoint that you actually are interested in this business model. You're willing to put in three months of work, not see much in return. If you develop the mindset that I just literally want to do this, I'm gonna make money from it one day, so whatever I have to do, I'm gonna be willing to do that. That's the mindset that you have to have, in my opinion. Um, and that's gonna, the logo is free. So that, that one checks out, right? That's that's good. It's free free is a good price. Um, now you can pay, you could pay as much as you want for a logo. You could go waste a hundred bucks on a logo, but I've always just created the logos for my brands myself. Free logo designer, there's apps, there's websites. If you have even the slightest bit of intuition about marketing and how a logo should look you can make it yourself and download it cut it out in a free white <laughs> background white out uh, or background remover most of these things are free guys so you don't have to pay for a lot of that stuff your barcode i use a website called barcodes mania it's going to be 4.99 four dollars and 99 cents not 499 dollars and now the way that does work is they have to be gs1 but barcodes mania uses I guess you could call them recycled GS1. So a GS1 barcode, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's like two to $300 to buy a brand new one. Um, but a barcode can be recycled if it's taken off of the line. So Amazon will check it against the GS1 database. And as far as the fine print on Barcodes Mania says, they are all GS1, so it should still work. I've never had an issue in 18 months of selling on Amazon. Never once have had an issue with one of my barcodes not working. I think it's ridiculous to have to pay $250 for a barcode. Um, if it ever comes a time where, you know, recycled GS1s, you need to have a brand new one, um, then we'll work from there. But whatever works now is, you know, all I care about. <laughs> so photos, um, $200 or free. So that one is up to you. Um, my first product, I didn't spend any money on photos. Actually, my second one, I didn't either. I'm fairly good. I'll say fairly to be modest with like Photoshop and Photoscape. I actually use Photoscape X also free. If you have a Mac, that's a win-win for you. Um, it is free version of Photoshop essentially. So you could do background cutouts, you could do layering, you could drag products onto a white background, you could do shadows, you could do rendering. So I do that all myself and a lot of the times the suppliers I work with, you know, five plus up to 10 year suppliers have great pictures, but maybe I just don't like the format or the coloring. So I could actually cut out certain elements of it and resize it and make it the way I want. I also recently got a light box and my girlfriend is a wonderful camera. So just take a lot of my own pictures now. I think it makes sense to develop that skill as you go on. Um, you know, you could buy a really nice camera for $800 and four products in, you've paid yourself off for that one. Um, and your fifth product, you're saving money already. So that's something to think about. And 200 is being modest. Sometimes pictures can get as much as four or 500. I don't think that's necessary. One of my students just launched with $200 photos and they were phenomenal. We both agreed that the photographer did an awesome job. I have no, who I, no idea who it was um, or else I'd link it in the description. But yeah, photos, if you have any technical skills, is gonna be free. 
If your supplier has great pictures, you can use those. You do run the issue of getting a lot of hijackers on your listing if you use supplier pictures, because then it's very easy for someone to just go on Alibaba, find that product, list it under yours, um, and there's really nothing you could do about it, especially if you didn't change the packaging or the logo, because they are allowed to do that. They're just selling the same product. Um, they bought it from the same supplier, they could tell by the pictures, and now they're listing it on here. So that's the importance of kind of having custom pictures, custom differentiations. It makes it a lot harder for that to happen. Um, it's a really annoying thing, the whole reselling on one listing, um, at least in the private label community, that is annoying sometimes. And even brand registry doesn't fully protect you from people listing on your listing. So that can get annoying. But guys, that is it. There's optional cost of inspections, which will probably be $100, $200. Um, I can't really think of anything else. That's really all you should need. Now, product cost, remember we're factoring and in shipping into that. Um, so make sure that that is your all-in cost. Um, you could go as low as 200 units, I would say is reasonable. If you really wanna get crazy, you could do 150. I've done 100 before. Um, it's better to get started than not start at all. So at the end of the day, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. We are doing a fresh giveaway August 1st. If you're watching this before August 1st, 2019, comment Amazon product research down below. You'll be able to enter the giveaway. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, like the video and go follow me on Instagram. There'll be a link in the description. I'm gonna be giving away a list of monthly products that you have access to. And then there's also gonna be one coaching call with me giving away. So all you have to do is what I just mentioned to enter that. Hopefully you guys are all having a great week hope i could have influenced you at least a little bit to get started on amazon and uh yeah i'll see you in the next video